Well, there are a number of things that can break your fast. What you take inside the body, such as eating, drinking, medications, pills and tablets, or even types of kidney dialysis, blood transfusion, injections, which give nourishment to your body. Mm. The other category is that which comes out of the body, such as sexual intercourse, masturbation, menses, postnatal bleeding, deliberate vomiting, and things like cupping and blood donation, they should be avoided during your fast, so we can keep our strength for the rest of the day. Mm. Ahmed, do you know which is the worst of all of these? Um, eating whilst other people think you're fasting? I never mentioned that. Oh. Sexual intercourse is the worst sin to invalidate your fast. In that case, you need to make up your loss fast and also to pay a penalty. But if you drank accidentally, then it is okay. <sighs> Honestly, Sheikh, thank you so much. That's such a relief. I thought I messed up bad. But remember, Ahmed, Allah can see us. He knows our intentions. So do everything for him only. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Let's get ready for prayer. Allah. Sheikh, my clothes, they're not, it's not pure. I think I'll just pray at home. Inshallah. But don't put the cart before the horse. Narrated on the authority of Jabir radiallahu anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Verily between man and between polytheism and unbelief is the abandonment of prayer And Abdullah bin Buraydah narrated from his father that the Messenger of Allah peace and blessing be upon him said The covenant between us and them non-Muslims is the salah so whoever abandons it he has committed disbelief